So now what we need to do is install Axios so we can fetch all the dogs data from the API. So first of all, what I want to do is close my terminal and then do yarn add Axios and let that install. In my lib folder, I'm going to create a new file named axios.ts and here I'm going to import axios from axios like so and in here I'm going to create an instance so const instance and this will have a base URL within here so it's equal to axios.create and I'm going to create an object that contains the base URL and the base URL will be if I go into the dogs API as you can see here, we can see all the breeds, so dog.co.api, if I copy that, it is pretty much the same across all of them. So if we was to fetch by the breed, again, it has the same base URL, and then by the subbreed as well. Over here, you can see it's got the same base URL. So if I add that in, and then what I want to do is export default of the instance. So now if I save, what I also want to do in my lib folder is create a new file once again named api.ts. So this is where I'm going to do all of my fetching and the endpoints just so it's not done in the components. So this time I want to import Axios from the file I've just created, so the instance. And there are four endpoints that I want to create so the first one is fetching all the dogs data i'm going to export all of these functions so i can fetch them on the front end so export const and this one is going to be called fetch dogs data which is an async function and then this will have a callback and in the callback we are going to have a try catch block so try and catch and in the catch block we're going to have an error that basically console.logs the error so that's the error handling complete. In the try block, I want to first off list all breeds. So in the dog API, if I click on list all breeds, so as you can see, this is the endpoint. We have the base URL already set up. So it's just a case of copying the second part. So now in here, I want to create a response. So const response is equal to, and because we used async, it's now await. We are awaiting the response. So await axios.get. And in here, we're going to pass in the URL that we just copied across. And then all we want to do is return response and then an optional chaining dot data like so. And if I save, that is the first fetch complete. So what we want to do now is do the second fetch. So before I do that, if you hover over the catch block and hover over error, the type of error, so the TypeScript type is unknown. So the reason the type is unknown is because when it comes to runtime, we don't know what the error is going to be. So what we want to do is do an if else check in here. So if ERR is the instance of error, then we want to console log the error, push this up, and then the comment after error is error message. Otherwise, I just want to bring this in and copy this. So in the else block, I want to console log unexpected error, which tells me that this isn't an instance of error. This is something else. So now if I save, we have the try, which is the response fetching the data from this API endpoint, and we should get this response back. And then we also have the catch where we are checking if it's an error, then we will see this console message. Otherwise, we will see the unexpected error console message as well. So the next fetch we are going to do is the subbreed. So if I go into the subbreed here, essentially we need to have a subbreed within here and then we can fetch the relevant subbreed data. So if I put a comment in here saying fetch the subbreed, again, we want to export const the function name, so fetch dogs subbreed which is again equal to an async function. And then I'm just going to copy the try catch block again and save. But this time what we essentially want to do is change the endpoint. So it is slash breed slash hound slash list. So slash breed slash hound slash list. But then this hound has to be dynamic. So I now need to pass in the breed in here. So it will take in the breed and this will be a string that we pass in. So we are declaring the type. And then instead of hound, we want to use template literals and pass in the breed argument that we are passing in. Replace this with a template literal like so. 
So we get the response and we pass down the response.data. And once again, we are doing the same catch block in here. This could be declared in a function to make it more streamlined and look better. But in this case, I'm just going to keep it as it is. What we also want to do is fetch the breed images. So again, export const. So essentially we are progressing with this. So we're fetching the breed data. Then we're fetching the subbreed data if the dog has a subbreed. And then we are passing the number of images across. So export const fetch breed images or this could be fetch dog images whatever you prefer is equal to async once again and we will have some parameters being passed across in again but i'm going to copy the try catch block in once again and then the end point this time will be i'll just bring it in from what i made earlier so slash breed and then slash the relevant breed that's passed in forward slash images slash random and then the number of images that we want so the arguments for this are a breed and a number so in here a breed and a number and they are both going to be strings as well and then just finally i'm going to do the same for the subbreed images so i'm just going to bring this in copy this across and paste in so the subbreed images take in a breed a subbreed and the number so this time is slash breed slash the actual breed that we pass in and the subbreed and then at the end we pass in the number to fetch the relevant data so now if i save all we now have the api.ts file complete and the axio setup complete so now what all we need to do is on our front end create the dog form and then we also would need to create the results form. So on my index.ts, if I go in there and then into the app where I am rendering the dog form, I also want to render the result. So these are two components that we need to create. 